Hey YouTube, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake. Today I'm going to do a product review on Adobe InDesign CC. Adobe InDesign CC is the latest version of this product and it's part of Creative Cloud. Of all the products in Adobe Creative Cloud, I have to say that I'm probably the least impressed with InDesign CC, but don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of Adobe InDesign and I prefer it to Quark Express. I actually mentioned this on my blog, but um, Adobe InDesign CC represents one of the few programs within Creative Cloud that really and truly was an incremental upgrade. Um, Illustrator is another one, but at least Illustrator got some really great features um, like the touch type feature and packaging. Um, although I believe packaging might have been introduced as a um, upgrade for subscribers in um, CS6 as well. So there is that. But anyway, going back to InDesign CC specifically, I didn't find much that was compelling about the new features in Adobe InDesign, and that really bothered me because um, I felt like almost every other version of the products within Creative Cloud got these great overhauls and upgrades, and I felt InDesign uh, was left out. But at the same time, they did so much in InDesign CS6 that was great that I think they really struggled with uh, what else they could possibly add. Now, while I like the idea of being able to instantly generate a QR code, I don't think it's ultimately profoundly useful for most people using um, Adobe InDesign, just because most advertising isn't correctly taking advantage of um, QR codes anyway. And I do have an extensive blog post about this and how you can properly leverage QR codes for things like um, if you're going to do um, reality-based marketing, do contest, exclusive offers, etc. But again, most people aren't using it that way. They're just using it as a link from print material to a website when a URL does pretty much the same thing and most people don't have a QR code reader anyway. So again, it's an okay feature. It's cool. It does make some things simpler and it's great that you can go ahead and take it and make it a, uh, a vector outline. But again, overall, I feel like it's a tool that has a very limited capacity. Now here are some things on the plus side of InDesign um, CC. With the Creative Cloud membership, you also do get a copy of um, Adobe InCopy, which is another component of InDesign um, and the InDesign product family, and will make um, your editorial life a lot easier. I'll probably do a um, video on that at some point, just because a lot of people don't know about Adobe InCopy and how it works, um, etc. I do like, um, some of the um, other cool things that InDesign does in general, like the um, digital publishing uh, suite feature and the fact that you can make iPad um, applications uh, without coding if you happen to have a Mac. But again, overall, not really impressed with some of the new features. The new type library and the ability to do favorites is great, but we should have had that a long time ago. But you know, again, I do like it, I do appreciate it, it makes my life simpler, but again, it's something we should have had all along and it's another one of those incremental nice to have things that's not game changing. It's not a um, you know smart resizing feature. It's not um, smart sharpen. It's not um, camera shake reduction. It's not camera raw eight. It's not putting uh, Cinema 4D into After Effects. It's not the uh, Lumetri Looks color engine in Premiere. It's none of those things. So again, InDesign CC kind of a bit of a disappointment. It's a great product overall. In terms of a standalone product, I actually give it a 10 out of 10. In terms of an upgrade from CS6, it's supremely lacking. You don't really need to upgrade from CS6 in terms of a standalone into Adobe um, Creative Cloud as far as InDesign goes. So not much for the print side there. Now in Photoshop and InDesign, we got some great features that are really gonna benefit you if you're um, a print production person. But as far as InDesign goes, you could stick with CS6 and be fine. There's really no reason other than compatibility to move to InDesign CC. And for a lot of people, unfortunately, that's what it's going to come down to. It's going to come down to the fact that unless you want to um, produce the um, IMDL, uh, IDML format or um, the IDXML format uh, for legacy versions of uh, InDesign to be able to import your files, uh, there's really no reason for you to go to CC for InDesign. So, sorry Adobe, 
as far as an upgrade goes, this was um, lackluster. As far as an overall product goes, it's fantastic. So that's my opinion on Adobe InDesign CC. Um, feel free to give me your opinion on Adobe InDesign CC in the comments below. Um, if you want to debate about Creative Cloud, I have a completely different video that you should check out regarding that. This one's just about InDesign, and this one's more for the print production folks um, or anyone wanting to go into that route. So um, again, that's what this video is for. Anyway, uh, subscribe, like the video, uh, share it, check out my other videos, and don't forget, new Photoshop tutorials every Thursday. All right, see you guys next video.